What is going on guys? It is your boy Jay Bob back with another video for you guys. And today, what I have for you is a crazy experience or another life story. Uh, this is going to be my third one, I do believe. Maybe my fourth one, I'm not sure. Sorry about that. It's been a while since I've posted one. But today what we're going to be talking about is something that happened uh, last night, which is today's the 30th. It'll be uploaded on the 30th, probably around 10.30. Um, but it happened on the 29th, around 3 in the morning. So... And this is December, obviously. So what uh, happened was, I had a few buddies over, uh, to be exact, too. His, their names are Zeke and Ryan. Those are real names, but y'all won't know them. May maybe some of y'all will. Maybe some of y'all will. But anyways, that, that, that's besides the point. So we thought it'd be a good idea. Oh, actually, first of all, you might want to know where we live. I live across from a vet's office, and it's like a ranch. They have cows and, and cattle and stuff like that and whatnot and dogs and stuff. And it's obviously a vet office, so they take care of vets. They take care of animals. Sorry about that. But we went and jumped two barbed wire fences and a gated fence, and went and jumped over another fence, which led us into this huge, huge field. And we didn't see any cow. Keep cows. Keep in mind, this is like nine fifth or nine fifteen. Sorry about that. It was like three fifteen, four in the morning. So it's still dark, and all their cows are black and brown racist ass people sorry um yeah so we saw them in the distance because it was really foggy we saw shadows so we're like okay there's the cows so we went and jumped the fence to to that field where the cows were and i was like all right i'm gonna stay back here just because i know cows and i know that they're gonna charge you once you try to tip one of them and if you guys don't know what cow tipping is it's pretty much because if you didn't know most cows sleep when they stand they stand up while they sleep so you run up to them and you push them over on their side and they go, Murr, and they fall. It's pretty funny. But, uh, yeah, so they pushed one and then there was like, we, they just started charging them. But after they got a little bit of a head start, the cow stopped charging them. And the only way to get out of this place was like a 24 foot tall fence and halfway up the fence, so 12 feet, was barbed wire. So we started walking and we were like, all right, we got to jump this fence or we're all going to get murdered by cows. So I was like, I'm not jumping this fence. It's not happening. And so I started walking down the uh, down the long, huge freaking field. And all I heard was doom, 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 doom. I thought it was my friend stomping his boots, but it wasn't. Look to my right, and I see at least uh, 300 cows. It was endless cows. And the first few ones were bulls, and they had horns. So I was like, oh, hell no. So I jumped this fence. I jumped. Keep in mind, it's barbed wire. So that shit cuts you pretty bad. Um, so I put my, f I had boots on, so I put my foot like three wires up and then just grabbed on and said, fuck it, and just grabbed the barbed wire and pulled myself up. Needless to say, I have a huge hole in my hand. I might put a picture up if I can, but I have a huge hole in my hand from it. Um, and me and Ryan were the only ones that got to jump the fence because it, we were taking too long to jump it. So Zeke. This is where it gets crazy. It could have been a near-death experience, but it wasn't for me. It was for him. He had to run all the way down that fence line, which was a, a good mile at least. And we heard him go, ah! So we ran back over the... We didn't go over the fence, but we looked through the fence to see if we could see him. And he had fallen, so he got, he got back up luckily. And the cows were running at an angle for some reason. So he jumped... Needless to say, he jumped a fence that didn't have barbed wire, and we all got out okay. But I thought you guys would enjoy that story, so I thought I'd go ahead and tell you all that. Uh, let me know if you guys liked it. If you did, let's try to hit five likes. Sorry for not uploading. And H4 Gaming, I will respond to your email. My computer has been completely gone, and I just put a new power supply in it. And sorry if I seem out of breath. I was I just like got done running so sorry about that uh but let me know like i said give me your feedback if you guys want more stories like this this was pretty crazy um so yeah uh if you guys did enjoy leave a like down below other than that this has been your boy jbot and i'm out peace